Hello again. Now it's time to introduce the members of our Amtrak Advisory Board. First, the chair, Kent Klingenpeel of the Enid AM chapter in Oklahoma. Kent's an Amtrak master mechanic and a past national president of Ambox. Al Lemieux of the Walker chapter in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Al is also a master mechanic and a charter member of the Amtrak Advisory Board. He's been with the board since the beginning. Fred Sammons of the United Chapter, also known as Frederick the Great. Fred is an occupational therapist and was named one of the 100 most influential people in occupational therapy's 100 year history. Amy Carter of the Mountain Metro Chapter in Lawton, Oklahoma. Amy's a physical therapist, an instructor and business owner, and a traveling Amtrak trailer owner who will go anywhere. Ashley Schilling of the Music City Trikes chapter in Nashville, Tennessee. Ashley's a physical therapist and she's the coordinator of Amtrak Evaluation and Fitting for Therapist Training, AEFT. Cindy Bell, research team leader and professor and chair of the Occupational Therapy Department at Winston-Salem State University. And we have Aaron Stevens of the Reno Sparks chapter in Reno, Nevada. Aaron's an occupational therapist, prosthetist, an orthotist and business owner. Paul Herring of the Longview, Texas chapter. Paul's an Amtrak master mechanic and business owner. Jack Spurlock of the Irving, Texas chapter. Jack is an Amtrak fundraiser extraordinaire. Peter Stoll, also known as the Bicycle Man. Peter's an Amtrak master mechanic and owns a bike shop in Alfred Station, New York. Jim Harris and Pam Ashley of the Queen City Trikes chapter in Charlotte, North Carolina, manage our permanent fund through Morgan Stanley. Rachel Nix of the Walker chapter in Grand Rapids, Michigan, serves as the National Ambucks designated uh, appointee to the board for 2019-2020. Jessica Wall, our chief operations officer, serves in a staff capacity to the board, as do I as chief executive officer. We thank these people for their dedicated service to the Amtrak Advisory Board and to our organization. And we hope that in late fall, they will be testing, touching, and checking out the new prototypes from BCA. This is the group that will have to prove to approve those prototypes before they go to production. Now, I'd like to turn things over to one of our Amtrak Advisory Board members, Ashley Schilling, our AEFT coordinator, and Ashley has a very special announcement to make. Ashley, come on up. Thanks, Jay. As you all know, today during our virtual national conference, Sue Haywood, otherwise known as Amtrak Mama, will be installed as the new National Ambux president. In 1990, Sue was invited to speak to the Longview, Texas chapter. During her speech, she told them that she wanted to design a tricycle that was both hand and foot powered. This would help some of her youngest clients be able to propel the tricycle even if they had lower extremity weakness. She teamed up with the Longview chapter and together, shoulders together, they created what is now known as our National Amtrak Program. Today, across the country, Ambucks have given nearly 50,000 Amtraks and changed countless lives doing so. The fact that this year's national conference is virtual means that some of the things we absolutely love about conference just can't happen, at least not in the traditional way. That includes our great Amtrak giveaway slash rodeo and the installation of our new national officers in person. But don't worry, just like anything in Ambox, we found a way. We're going to be doing a year long Amtrak giveaway and you've guessed it, it's going to be done in honor of our very own Amtrak Mama. So how will this work? It's easy. First, you should know that Sue works with children that are very young, zero to three years old, otherwise known as early intervention. So to best honor Sue, this year, we will be giving away early intervention Amtraks the 1410, the AM10, and the AM12 small in her honor. To participate in this program, just follow these steps. Select a rider who would benefit from an early intervention trike. 
If you do not have a local wish list or a young writer, you can contact Alyssa Magoski at the ARC and she will be happy to connect you with an early intervention writer from the national wish list. Two, send in an order specifically saying in honor of Amtrak Mama, anytime between now, September 12th, 2020, and August 15th, 2021. Three, once you have the trike, present it. But remember, please follow all COVID guidelines when giving away your bikes. Four, make sure you take videos and pictures of this wonderful event. Remember to keep your videos short and to always keep your phone turned into landscape view. These pictures and videos will be submitted to Sarah Zeller, our marketing director at the National Resource Center, who will be combining these to put together a compilation video to be shared at the 2021 National Amtrak Conference. Now I'd like to turn it over to our credentialing chair, Peter Moore. He will be giving you some really important information about the vote for the new national president-elect, which will be held online. Peter, take it away. Hey. Uh, hold on, hold on just a minute. Oh, good gracious. I'm about itching, scratching, choking, morphing, wheezing, gagging, about to, about to pass out from, from, from wearing all these PPEs, the protective personal, no, personal protective equipment, all the mask and the shield and everything, but you know, you got to protect yourself and other folks. Now, ain't, ain't nobody around here, not even six feet, not a country mile from me so I can take all this stuff off to talk to you. I just heard about Amtrak Mama. I, I love that lady, I tell you what, she's something special. And when I was listening to Ashley talk about Amtrak Mama, I did get concerned about one thing. Had me quite upset, in fact. Now, I don't mean to get, get uh, a little bit rude in mixed company or nothing like that, but I tell you what, when I heard Ashley Schillen say, that Sue, Amtrak Mama Haywood, gave birth to the first Amtrak. Oh, chills went down my spine, and I ain't even a female. I tell you what, giving birth to a trike has to be a painful experience. So I have newfound respect for you, Miss Sue. No, I tell you what the truth is. You know what? You didn't give birth to that Amtrak all by yourself, all by your lonesome. No, you had help. Yeah, you did. Them boys from the Longview Ambux chapter, and Mr. Gene Allen. I tell you what, them boys helped you build that first Amtrak, and they painted it John Deere green. Because that's the only, only kind of paint they had in the shed. Well, when they got done, you had to come up with a name for that track, didn't you? Yeah, you did. And old Gene Allen, you know what? He said, I want to call it the Mean Green Gene machine. That's right, the mean green gene machine. That's what they was going to call it. And he even had a slogan or a tagline to use with it. He said, we can say three wheels and a ton of thrill. How about that mean green gene machine? That would have been something else. But no, cooler heads prevailed. And Miss Sue talked mean gene into calling it the Amtrak. And the rest is history. Things took off like gangbusters. And life is good for National Ambux and the Amtrak program and all the people that get help through that wonderful program. And I tell you what, it would not have happened if Miss Amtrak Mama and Mean Gene and them boys at Longview had not worked side by side, just like William L. White told us we ought to. Yeah, they sure did. What is that slogan? Y'all know it well, don't you? They was working. Head and shoulders. I love you, Sue Amtrak Mama. Yep. Thank you, Ashley. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter Moore. I am the chapter president of the Conshohocken Ambucks. My task is to try to explain how our online election for national president-elect will work. Remember, everyone is not permitted to vote in this election. This year, we have two qualified candidates for national president-elect 2020-2021.
Only chapter delegates from chapters in good standing who are pre-registered for this virtual conference and are in attendance today are allowed to vote. A chapter delegate is either your chapter's current president or another individual who has been officially designated by your chapter's president. A chapter is considered in good standing if all membership dues and fees are paid. Election notices will be sent to chapter delegates via email and text by 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday, September 13th, 2020. Delegates will use their notices to access the ballot on Election Buddy, a virtual election platform, and cast their chapter's votes. Voting will begin at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday, September 13th, and will close at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, September 15th. Votes will be weighted based on chapter membership rosters as of May 31st. A chapter with multiple votes may assign all votes to one candidate or may split the chapter's votes between candidates. Ballots will include photos of candidates and a bio or profile about each candidate. Candidates will be shuffled randomly on ballots so the same one does not appear first each time, thereby eliminating the ballot order effect. Our new national president will be announced after 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, September 15th. Notices will be posted on ambox.org, the National Ambox Facebook page, and will be sent by email via eye contact. Individuals wishing to announce their candidacy for national president-elect 2021-2022 should do so before Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time by sending an email to CEO Jay Lawrence at jl at ambux.org. Now, will you please welcome our immediate past national president, Randy Cloud, who is also the chair of our nominating committee. Three, two, one. Before we give the nominating committee report, Donna has something to talk about. As the 2020 Truck for Trites Chairman, I had to change things up just a bit. There is a link to the revised format of this year's Truck in the registration email that everyone has received. And I want to point out two things. One, the deadline for turning in your fundraising money has been extended to Wednesday, September 30th. Okay. And two, to be considered for a fundraising trophy, you must submit a photo of yourself in your chosen activity by that same date. And remember, all of these photos will become a lasting history of this year's virtual 2020 National Conference. So everyone, let's get active. Get active. Now, on with the report. The envelope, please. National President. National President. Mr. President. The nominating committee announces the current national president-elect, Sue Haywood, Longview II Chapter, Longview, Texas, is duly qualified and later today will be installed as the National Ambux 2020-2021 National President. The envelope, please. National President-elect. National President-elect. Mr. President, the nominating committee announces the following individuals are being nominated as candidates for the Office of National President-Elect 2020-2021. Donna Carlton Bish, Danville Chapter, Danville, Illinois. Scott Buckaloo, Edmond Chapter, Edmond, Oklahoma. Both candidates are duly qualified, aware of the duties and obligations of the office, and have agreed to serve. But before we move on, we want you to know just a little bit about each candidate that you won't hear in their speeches. As you know, Donna is an accomplished hot air balloon pilot and instructor. Mm -hmm. But did you know why Donna Carlton Bish is called DJ? It is because her number one rule of anyone who steps foot in one of her hot air balloons is don't jump. Pretty good idea. Scott and I go way back. 
but my office manager, Margaret, has known him much longer. Many years ago, Scott's mom, Wanda, Margaret, and another lady all worked at the same child care center. Scott was just old enough to fill in for them one afternoon while the ladies went on an excursion. The excursion turned out to be a Chippendale male dancer event. So now we know that Scott has helped contribute to the delinquency of some older women. Reporting remotely from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, this has been FFD Donna Petoska and FFD Randy Cloud. Now we will hear and see nomination speeches for each of this year's candidates for national president-elect Donna Carlton Bish and Scott Buckaloo, as well as speeches from the candidates themselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, Ambucks. I am past National President Alan Bedell and the President of the Corn Belt Chapter of Ambucks. It's with great pleasure that I'm here to nominate a friend and a special Ambuck for National President-elect. Donna Carlton Fish has satisfied all the requirements for the office. She has been an Ambuck for almost 30 years and has attended the last 13 national conferences. Donna has participated in our Trek for Trike for many years. She has served on the Trek for Trike committee for three years, and while chairperson, she helped raise over $10,000 that year. A job well done. Donna has spark plugged four new Ambucks chapters. She was instrumental in starting the district Amtrak trailer and has pulled the Amtrak trailer many miles and helped with numerous Amtrak road shows in multiple states. During these trips, Donna has had the opportunity to work and learn from her lead therapist. Also during her time as regional director, Donna was the National Board Amtrak Advisory Board liaison. She loves Amtraks. Donna knows what happens at the national board meetings. She has participated in the national board meeting for five years, three as a central regional director and two as a national Big Hat Club representative. Oh, did I mention she is a past Big Hat Club president? Donna is not just an active ambuck. She is also a community leader. She is involved with the PTA for five different schools while raising seven children. She was a Danville Volunteer of the Year in 2002 and was honored by the city of Danville as a Grand Marshal of their Parade of Lights last year. As I said, she is busy and has demonstrated an eye for detail. Donna received her Bachelor of Science degree in medical technology and worked at the Veterans Hospital for 14 years during the HIV crisis. Donna has extensive business experience. She was the Chief Financial Officer and Farm Manager for the Family of Business. Yes, she has experience managing big numbers, construction budgets, and financial documents. Donna is well known for her passion and excitement about Ambucks as your next national president-elect. She'll be an outstanding leader and cheerleader for you. It's with great pleasure that I nominate Donna from Ambucks to be your next national president-elect. Thank you, Al, and to all of you for attending today. You've heard a little bit about my history with Ambucks. Now let's look upward and outward into our future. What will the next hundred years bring us and how do we do it? I believe it will be with ideas and sharing ideas. That will be the cornerstone of my work going forward. 
William L. White had an idea. He called it American Business Club. Since then, AMBUC ideas have created many, many successful community projects like Big Hat, ramps, and Amtrikes. A young child had an idea for a playground for everyone so she could play with her friends and her grandpa. AMBUCs took that idea and they made it a reality nationwide. And a few young scientists got together and created what we now call the internet. And that's the platform we are using today. What do all these ideas have in common? They are all shared. Idea sharing brings great success and public awareness to a project, which in turn builds a bigger and better organization. Idea sharing moves us outward. Each of you had an idea about Ambux. You had the idea to join. And that's probably because someone had the idea to share with you about the fun we have in Ambux. This creates membership and retention. Once they have joined, Make sure you share your ideas of how important their membership is by giving them a job. My mantra is just ask. Keep them involved by asking them to share their ideas. This same technique can be used for new chapter building, an experience I've been blessed with four different times. Membership and retention moves us upward. Training is another important aspect of our organization. Training is simply the sharing of the successful ideas we have with everyone. Sharing is much easier these days because we have all kinds of resources, such as the AMBUX webpage with educational materials. We have a great staff at the Resource Center. We have the ability to meet in person and virtually. And we have the use of various forms of communication, including social media. We just have to teach AMBUX how to use them. This is a manageable goal, and it can be fun. Just ask those who played my Jeopardy game. Training moves us outward. Youth auxiliaries are the training ground for AMBUX. They are the lifeblood and the true future of our organization. They are full of energy, new ideas, and they aren't afraid to share their ideas. Allow their creativity to shine. Danville Ambux has one of the three youth auxiliaries in the nation. We need more of these. Youth auxiliaries move us upward and outward, and will carry Ambux through the next 100 years. As president, I will work full time to guide and direct idea sharing in an all-inclusive, rewarding, and fun way for everyone. My record shows that I have the passion, the desire, and the experience to make this happen. I am ready to work for you. Please cast your vote for Donna Carlton Vish. Shoulders together, let's move Ambux upward and outward into the future. Hello, welcome to Holly Lake Ranch, Texas. I'm Cliff Burley, member of the Tyler area Ambux and the Southwest region of Ambux. Also past national president, 2009-2010. I've known Scott Buckaloo for nearly two decades. I watched him as he became an outstanding member of his chapter. Watched him as chapter president, district governor, regional director. Scott was always learning and asking questions about how to improve Ambux at every level he served. His boundless energy and enthusiasm for our organization has inspired others and has helped the growth of AMBUX everywhere. Scott has been a member of AMBUX for 25 years. He's been a life member of AMBUX. He has completed all the requirements to be eligible for the office of national president-elect. He's a William L. White contributor and has been his chapter's project manager of the year. He is now completing his term as Great Plains Regional Director. Scott Buckaloo is proud to be an AMBUX. Scott has what I call VIP. V for the vision to lead AMBUX to our future goals. I for integrity to oversee and manage our organization, including the finances in these difficult times. P for the personality 
to be the face of AMBUX and handle the public relations requirements as our representative to those outside our AMBUX world. As Scott studied our organization, he realized that we concentrate on growing our organization through new members and new chapters and that we have been missing something very important. Retention of active members has been overlooked in our recent past and he will make it a goal to focus on not only external growth but focus on retaining the members we have already worked so hard to initiate. We will work to achieve growth not only from the outside recruitment but also inside retention. Scott is proud to be an AMBA. Many of you have met Scott over the years, either in his home club or his region, or at the many conferences, both national and regional, that he has attended. You know Scott is a friend and a dedicated AMBA. In normal times, if you did not already know Scott, I would tell you to take the time in the next couple of days at the conference to stop and talk to Scott and get to know him. Unfortunately, in these times, we do not have that luxury. So if you don't know Scott, ask someone who does. A fellow chapter member, a district governor, a region director, anyone who does, and I feel you'll find out that Scott is proud to be an AMBUCK. My fellow AMBUCKs, it is my honor to place the name of Scott Buckaloo in nomination for AMBUCKs National President-Elect for the year 2020-2021. Thank you. Hello fellow AMBUCKs and thank you Cliff for that wonderful and humbling nomination speech. And thank you all the AMBUCKs who have taken time out away from your families and your friends to spend with us for this virtual conference. My name is Scott Buckley and I want to be your next national president-elect. I want to earn your support and confidence so when it comes time to cast your ballot you're thinking I am that choice. I'm focusing on two pieces of the platform. I want to focus on communication and visibility. We always talk about membership, how we need to increase membership, increase chapters. In the last five years, we've actually increased 2,500 new members have joined AMBUX. That's wonderful to hear, but 3,000 AMBUX members have actually dropped from AMBUX. That's what we need to change. I believe we need to focus on membership retention. How can we increase retention? I think a big piece of us increasing retention is by better communicating with our own membership, letting them know what we're doing within the organization, what other chapters have done, what other successes we have seen. Uh, currently, our membership database uh, is questionable. We have a brand new system, but we have the same data. We still have a lot of bad email addresses, bad mailing addresses. We need to work in improving that so more people receive those regular emails and receive our magazine. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to see what's being done across the country. So other pieces that we need to do is training. This year has brought challenges for us which we've taken virtual. We didn't have any spring conferences in person. We took them all virtually today. I'm proud to say in the Great Plains we actually were the first ones to hold a virtual conference. In addition to our virtual conference, we actually held two additional training sessions for officers that following week. All of that went very well. We left the recordings up so anybody who was unable to attend could watch the recordings in the future time frame. That's the standards that we need to set moving forward, I believe, for our training. And the training is not just what we typically anticipate during spring conference, but it's also other things to help grow your chapter, how to better communicate, how to create videos, how to solicit sponsors, how to fill out grants. Those are all training opportunities that we need. We also don't want to forget that we also will always be doing in person and we need to work towards that. Visibility. We must increase our visibility. I'm a huge proponent of our logo wear. We put AMBUX on and people ask us about them. We don't typically go out and start telling our story, but we need, when people ask us, we need to be ready to tell our story. We had one member who actually was wearing a shirt to work. A client asked him about it. He spent the next half hour explaining AMBUX. The next thing he knows, he has a $10,000 check to support our mission. We had another AMBUX who actually, their chapter promoted her in the local magazine or newspaper because she won AMBUX of the year nationally. It's a wonderful opportunity. That notification 
created awareness to Ambux, and they have now received between, or Ambux organization has received over $200,000 in grants from a charity just because we promoted ourselves. We must do better about telling ourselves. So those are the big things I work on. Communication, visibility, we must improve that. That will increase our funding, that will grow our membership. I hope that I've earned your support and confidence. My name is Scott Buckaloo, and I would greatly appreciate your vote in this upcoming election. Thank you for your time. Check out these guys. Yep, that's the three amigos. Greg Ferris, past national president. Al Bedell, also a past national president. And Rick Kerr, who is a past national president and also a black hatter. Those guys are not just Ambux dignitaries who served in the highest of leadership positions in the organization. They're also known as the Three Amigos, and they work behind the scenes at national conference, moving boxes, setting up chairs, ripping and running, doing whatever they need to do to make sure that conference runs smoothly for all of us in attendance. These guys aren't having to work quite as hard this year because we're having a virtual conference, but we want to thank them for all they're doing. And believe it or not, they're still out there making sure that we're connected and that we're uh, having a smooth experience with our virtual national conference today. Don't think any of these guys would amount to much of anything if it weren't for the women in their lives, their wives. I think this video coming up probably validates that. Greg, what is that a golf umbrella covered with aluminum foil with a wire hanging out of it? What the heck are you doing? No, honey, this is our newfangled satellite dish for broadcasting the Ambux National Conference all over the country. I think I'd like to call it the Am Dish. See this wire? It runs all the way from Decatur, Illinois to Rick Kerr's house in Lawton, Oklahoma. From there, we've got wires stretched out all over the country, from Ponca City to Kalamazoo. Well, I guess Ben Franklin had his kite. Greg can have his satellite dish. I know I'm supposed to cut one of these beeping wires, but I'm not sure which one. I think it may be this one, mm. or maybe this one. No, I don't think so. How about this one right here? Wait, wait it's a minute, connected Rick. connected to 13. No, I thought Al Bedell was supposed to cut a wire in Bloomington, Illinois. No, no, sweetie. Leave this high-tech stuff to us highly trained amigos. Mm -hmm. Al's job in this highly orchestrated operation is to connect two wires oh. in Illinois. Okay. okay. So I'm going to cut a wire. I think it's this one. It's connected to 13. No, no, don't, don't do that one. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can't find them. I don't think I can find them. I think I found them. I guess I gotta do this for several hours. Oh my God, this is shocking.